All right, we are going to keep rocking and rolling through this poster, and next we're going to talk about the research participants. So what makes a local food farmer a local food farmer? Um, I took a cue from the local farmers markets. The producer-only farmers markets have a rule that you have to produce your food or grow what you're growing, what you're selling, within a hundred to 150 miles of uh, where the end point is, where the consumers are going to buy it. And so, all of the farmers that were included in this research are within 150 miles of where their food is at the end sold. Um, Local food and farm supporters were also included just to kind of have an idea of why people are buying from local farmers. Um, and I have a little diagram of kind of how the local food and farm supporters existed. They existed kind of on a on a scale between people who really were on the outside of the system altogether and are just buying somebody from somebody who is essentially a cashier who's selling them the food to the other side of that, who are people who are either getting into or getting out of farming. And they are continually working or um, buying from the community and helping to support them in whatever way. Um, these local food and farm supporters really helped me to understand um, all of these different reasons why, uh, as I said in the introduction, why people come to want to learn about food, why to support local food, why why even people want to farm on a local scale. They really kind of pointed out that um, it, there there's a lot of, you know, somebody has a health concern, somebody, um, you know, access environment, wants to build community or, um, you know, wants to have a different quality of life, which we'll talk about in a minute. Anyway, um, so those are the research participants. There were 17 farmers on 14 separate farms and there were nine food and farm supporters.